The long-awaited update 2.0 for Cyberpunk 2077 is finally here, and I am surprisingly happy to say that this update brings significant performance improvements. So let's see what changed. Let's start with the CPU performance where it matters the most in this game. At first glance, the frame rate seems to be the same, but when we start moving, the performance on 1.63 seems to stutter a lot and has noticeable frame rate dips, while patch 2.0's performance seems to be much more stable. This can clearly be seen when looking at the frame time graph between 2.0 and 1.63, where 2.0 seems almost flat and stable, while 1.63 has lots of dips and variables. What's even more surprising, and the most important improvement yet, is the low percentile frame rate. Just look at the 1% low between 1.63 and 2.0. It jumped from 32 to 43 FPS and this can really be felt because the first time I booted up patch 2.0, I instantly felt that the game was a lot smoother and dare I say, perfectly smooth. I know, I'm just as surprised as you are. So let's move on to the GPU performance. And unlike the CPU performance, the average frame rate of the GPU performance has increased by around 10%. Even the 1% low frame rate has increased noticeably, again making the game feel a lot smoother when GPU bound as well. Oh, and I forgot to mention that with patch 2.0, the walking speed has decreased and became a lot slower, which is why it may seem that the two comparisons are out of sync. No more low frame rate, stuttering and frame drops. That is in the past. This is what the performance should have looked like at launch. Now let's move on to the ray tracing performance. This was tested using the Psycho ray tracing settings. Looks like the performance has increased here as well. The average frame rate has slightly increased. But again, look at the 1% low frame rate. It has significantly increased going from 29 FPS to around 35 FPS in this scene. This makes the game much more viable to play on lower end hardware. So to sum up, if you haven't played Cyberpunk 2077 yet, or you've been waiting for a patch to improve the performance, then now is the time to jump back in and enjoy the game, because this is as good as it gets.